I used to think if I died in an evil place, then my soul wouldn't be able to make it to heaven, but now, fuck. I mean, I don't care where it goes as long as it ain't here. J. Chief Hicks. Okay. This is the Forever Winter. I have played at least for a whole day. Um, mainly only because apparently none of the recording did any recording. But I did start over, so. You know, I found a viable home for you and fellow scabs. Clear out the area and bring your blue water container to the water supply. Okay. You are near a loot container. Get near until the prompt appears and follow its instructions to open. The surplus ammo, the quality ammo for the AK. EKB0145, I can make out, maybe a six. And a surplus rifle, but free. And 12 gauge, shell for all shotgun weapons. And small first aid kit heals a small amount of health over time. Okay. Some weapons support different fire modes. Press F to change fire modes, semi full auto, etc. I didn't notice that on the supply rifle yet. Also, damage type, or uh, not damage type, dim uh, ammo type. Cannot hold any longer large items. Okay, so there's another water there. Tap to open your rig inventory, and then drag your water barrel to the ground and drop it. Do drop it. Water delivered. Now head to the extraction location indicated by the extract icon on the compass on the top of the hood. Oh, not good. Basically zombies. It's robots. I rid of the runners, so the crawlers might be okay. One more? Nope, done. Okay. Nope. Yeah, you have to be really close up for these guys. Oh, come on. No room for circuitry, huh? Okay, I have barely enough room for anything. Sure, there was a water barrel back. Ooh, water barrel back here. More, they are. Okay, time to extract. They're gonna keep coming. Congrats, Ooh. guys. We didn't die. Okay. A fourteen kills, experience, and how much ammo? All right. That was the innards. Congratulations, you have just returned alive with all the items in your rig. You also keep your weapons in their customization keep it up. Welcome to the innards. Explore this hub world to find vendors, quest givers, water management, and other important elements. Start with quest givers right in front of you. Uh, okay. All the stuff. Fish. 
Auto reserve, low level, critical. Complete quests or collect water in regions before the innards runs out of water. Completely. Running completely out of water will reset the innards and remove all your inventory. Which everyone is saying is a little bit extreme, which I do agree with. Only because it runs down in real time, not game time. You could be offline and it'll reset basically your progress except for your experience and prestige. Okay, so. Okay, surplus rifle. Surplus rifle you cannot customize. Plus shotgun. You can't really customize. AK you can. But I have yet to find a actual sight for it, other than its regular iron sight. This common rifle uses 5.45. S12, semi-auto shotgun, uses 12 gauge. And USP, trusty pistol, uses 45 ACP. Rig, one container, one open storage. No bolts first aid, we got that. And tactical camera, scan for foes, allies, and viable items. Characters, we have the old man. Survivalist. Skills focus on medical supplies and basic weapon usage. Average health and speed. Initially trained in rifles, shotguns, heavy rifles, and pistols. Scav girl, speed and covert ops. Skills. Focus on speed and small arms. Can see loot icons on HUD at two times normal distance. Faster movement, lower health. Initially trained in rifles, shotguns, pistols, and submachine guns. Asked man, master at arms, sacrifices nuance for weapon skills. Can see extraction locations on HUD at two times normal distance. Average health and speed. Initially trained in rifles, shotguns, pistols, and submachine guns. Shaman, Logistics Master, a hybrid of speed, carry capacity, and weapon skills. Can see loot icons on HUD at two times normal distance. Average health and speed, initially trained in rifles, shotguns, pistols, and submachine guns. Gunhead is locked. And Bagman, Strength Training, skills focus around carry capacity and heavy weaponry. High health, low speed, initially trained in rifles, shotguns, light machine guns, heavy machine guns, and heavy rifles. See, those are the characters, and each one has different skills, like a medical expert for this guy. And, uh, different rigs you can use. But, just for now, I'm going to stick with the old man. And vendors, we have Heisenberg for pharmaceuticals to heal up. I don't think, let's see, I did pick up some junk. Muggled organs. Sure, that sounds... Just right. Nothing else to sell now. Anyway, Heisenberg, Charles, which is recruits. He gets better ones later other than the scav mule. That can carry your gear. Bunko, which is weaponry. He's, I guess, ammo. Even later in rank two, he's ammo. Let's not touch that yet. Ah, I've had me some training. And they've water. Ah, so that was a thing. Blade, hey, you're the scav that cleared out the innards for us. I heard you really apply the pain, risky but admirable. I've a little something extra for you to reward your efforts. Ah, please claim all, please claim all your rewards from completing quests. 10,000 credits, 1,000 XP, one day of water, scav faction rating. Okay. Support the scavs. Welcome to the innards. Look, we need more water, plain and simple. Tell you what, if you can recon the scorched enclave for us and report back, maybe that will help us find some water. I'll dip into my personal stash of water if you do this. Okay, cool. The explore and extract from scorched enclave, and it gives... 
uh, 20,000 credits, one day of water, 2,000 XP, and action rating. I believe... let's see. Yeah, you can choose, let's see, we got Scorched Enclave, Elephant Mausoleum, Mech Trenches, which is a work in progress, Scrapyard, Nexus, and Ashen Mesa. Or Mesa, however you want to pronounce that. The Cemetery. And cliffs, which you can change your entry point. But the description of where we're going is Endless cracked earth bakes under a blistering sun. Ruined Europa bunkers. Dot the landscape offering scarce shelter from the harsh elements, but filled with decay. Watch for sudden Eruska attacks. Survive by staying vigilant and navigating the treacherous environment and crumbling tech. We'll go to that in a minute. An important one. Oh, that's a reach map. Okay, I didn't know it's a reach map over here before. Tipunko's little thing. Let me make sure the options are set right here. Yeah, I was having some problems with some pop in time. I think we're good like that, maybe. Oh, and... Oh, there's a dive button. I missed that. Okay, crouch. Do that. Current water supply is three days. This requires at least 16 days of water. Nation box, give and receive. This time I got a C96 pistol. Uses 919. Huh. 110, 200. Oh, what? The pistol does 200 damage? Yep, the penetration is probably garbage on it, though. I don't even know if penetration is a thing yet. Current water supply is three days. This requires at least 11 days of water. Basically a weapon salesman. Which have the scar. What I mistaked as a weird-looking pistol is actually just to unassemble them for rim 16 or something. There's a shotgun and a rifle. There's a machine gun. There's just a longer scar. Maybe there's two different scars. Maybe there's one with a 308 or something, and there's one with a 50 caliber, I believe. There's a lot of other weapons, too. This is something that's upgrade. Manage innards. Purchase upgrades for the innards here. Then we got a terminal for a water tank. It's all terminal and welfares. A water tank. Have 10 days of water. Pay 500,000 credits. Air scavengers to collect materials required to hold a larger supply of water. Increase water capacity. 16 days of water of supply. And the next one. Have 20 days of water. Pay 1,500,000 credits. Pay for the materials to hold even more water. Increase water capacity, plus 28 days of supply. Crafting. Hire technicians from above to set up in your innards and provide machinery that enables ammunition crafting. Next one is smuggle valuable technology into your innards that will enable you to craft weapon parts. I suppose for the rare ones. Hey, the welfare TV screens connect various monitors and the innards directly to your open and region satellite and tactical feeds to observe the war on various monitors. The eight days of water pay 75,000 credits. Broadcast the combat above on gigantic screens in your innards to witness the horrors above. Music system one days of water pay 50,000 credits. Increase morale by connecting the aging intercom systems in the innards to musical specialists. Welfare Dog House. One day of water, 110,000 credits. Bring some life to your hub by creating a place for a dog to stay, and the quadruped may just show up to cheer everyone up, at least for a short while. 
shrine, five days of water, pay 35,000 credits. Place to pray and make offerings to the Met God. Special tree, one days of water, 15,000 credits. Singular tree expressing your generosity and altruism. I have not done anything with yet. Up through zero days, three hours. Each barrel contains one day's worth of water. Transfer barrels from your stash to your water tank to refill the tank. Note, the water supply shown is your inner supply. And this is just a weird area. Oh, water supply three days requires at least four days of water. Oh, I missed that. This is, a. Uh... Huh. I didn't notice this was a vendor over here. I thought it was just fluff. Okay. And there's this guy over here, which is basically machine butcher, I guess. Interesting. It's, uh, like I said, I guess it's you get what you can get. It's kind of the apocalypse out here. Yeah, I think I was getting some artifacting or something that was going on. I didn't like it. Eh, maybe a little bit more skills going on, but whatever. Close enough. Back there. I'm going on. I think that's how people could hear something, or they clear wreckage. Character management. Ready room. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. So, combat loadout. Let's take, since we're just gonna go and get some junk. Oh, you can hold and drag. I never did that before. Alright, um, we're not gonna need much ammo and stuff, because we are not gonna really fight, because that is not the name of the game here. At least not for this map. Okay. So we're gonna go to Scorched Enclave, but let's read up about the rest of them. The Elephant Mausoleum. A maze of war-ravaged trenches scars this hostile wasteland, heavy with the stench of battle and rusting metal. The debris-filled trenches demand constant vigilance as relentless Euroskin forces launch unending attacks. Survival hinges on navigating crumbling fortifications and staying alert to incoming threats in this perilous battleground. You can only enter through pipes until you get a higher faction rating. Back trenches. A sprawling network of European trenches under relentless Eruskin assault. Thick smoke clinging metal and debris fill the air. Navigate the rusted maze, hitting off threats from both factions. Every step could bring new danger in this chaotic battleground. Oh, you could enter from anywhere on that one. Elevator tunnel trench. I haven't been on that map yet. Because that's, well, in progress. Scrapyard. Um, can't really read up on it, but that one is basically a very small map that I know about. At least of what I'm seeing, because there's a lot of enemies in a very small area. Ashen Mesa. Let's see, once... Once a thriving megacity, Ashen Mesa now lies buried under dunes of ash. Skeletal skyscrapers loom over the desolate ruins while open fields echo with tank and mech skirmishes. Navigate debris-choked highways and treacherous terrain where survival demands quick reflexes and a keen eye for shifting threats. The desolated street and sooty ruin. Supposedly you get a lot of uh, water there. And the other ones we can't go to yet. Anyway, let's start with Scorch Enclave. And we'll enter from 
the cemetery. I think we got everything. Okay. Let's see if we get hitched up again or something. Ah, looks like they've actually fixed the uh, loading screens a little bit. Because before it would, uh, roll out. Extraction quests. Make it out alive for hostile regions without getting eliminated. Reach the extraction point and return to the innards. We can't go backwards because that basically is just minefields. Let's see. Yeah, they fixed it up a bit. I don't have any um, game freezing lag. You know, it mainly happened when there was a uh, pop in with some features, not features, terrain. The terrain would have to pop back in and load. You know, it would create some game freezing lag and some. Uh, same with the AI. The AI would try to spawn in and it would freeze up a bit. But anyway, looks like all the robots are fighting the what essentially are zombies. Just fine for me because the zombies are actually annoying. Like, oh, there's the uh, military right there. We don't really need anything special here. Hopefully that... Hopefully this one here decides to run after. Yeah, it looks like he has. Oh, there's military right there too. Nothing over here. He's gonna win. No? Really? And we can't, uh... Oh wow, he got destroyed. We can't pick up any weapons. Oh no, he's coming towards me. He's gotta go. Have you heard that right? Nope. Okay, good. I see a good bench tool set. Cool. Don't need any booze. I've noticed that a lot of the uh, zombie type of enemies have a lot of booze. Schematics and stuff. Cool. Carry the fire. All this gas too. Barrels. I pick up. Explosives. Huh. Okay. Got twenty six in the bottom left ish area. It tells you how much your rig is worth. And you can switch your healing items with what the three button it says. And the same with seven. And then he uses a whole bunch of other ones. Oh, that's a group. Oh, he is completely surrounded. Look at that. Wow. You can survive? Oh, hi. Oh, that's not good. Come on. That's just cheap. I have to turn around in a minute. How are you hitting me? Ah, uh, that's ridiculous. They came out of nowhere. 
Well, all right. You died in last battle. You've lost all of the gear, weaponry, items, and upgrades that were being carried, but keep your character XP. You also lose all weapon XP gained in the battle. When your character dies, a new character is available to play. It may look different, but they retain all the XP, skills, and prestige from the dead. Yes. Well. We didn't take anything super special, we just took some shotgun ammo. But you only need like one set of. Uh, let's go back. And hopefully we don't get surrounded by those stupid zombies again. But yeah, the name of it is, uh, at least for this map, is to get low profile, don't get really attacked. And don't do attacking unless you are pretty much geared up and ready for it. Which I am not. On the top, you navigate and see, so that little weird looking diamond is where they last died. You can pick up your rig. Cool. Okay. I'm just gonna run right in. Oh, not that good. That's a machine gun mountain. Never mind. Yeah, there's bigger battles going on on the left side out in that field. Oh, two big mechs. Okay. I don't know if I can take that thing out. Hopefully this doesn't get their attention. I think more Where's explosives. Alright, yeah, we're good. Alright, cool. Do you, do you need water instead? Suppose if we can find water. Oh, there's some big guys. Yeah, look at that. I'm down here. Where you going? Okay. No large items. And what is it? Large toolbox? Large lockbox. Hmm. Gives us an actual chance. Sure. What do you got down there? And loot. Oop. What's that? Where are they coming? Some shots up there. A lot of guys over there. Look out. Storage in the small box? Oh, weapon tech. Okay. Large. That's a large, I think. Find that if you aim, you can pick sure. up some stuff better. Uh, come on, boys. There's no point in coming over here. Oh, they downed somebody. Oh, cyborgs. Okay. Are oh, they shooting past me or what? Oop. That drop up. There's an SMG P90s, I think, on the ground. Alright, we gotta move. They're shooting over me and past me. Cool. Nice. Good. They don't have any. I forgot to bring it. Cool. Cool. Pretty much. Oh, come on, dude. No. Ah, shotguns. Dang it, they literally rushed right up on me.
I wouldn't read all that text, but uh, it's a little fast. Okay. Um. Another ten rounds for the shotgun, and we'll do it again. Yeah, the game's not easy. It can be, but depends how far entered you go. So if you want to take the risk to get more stuff, you also run the risk of losing pretty much everything. Including rig, which you can salvage. Alright. Alright, the zombie. Ooh. Those little zombie guys are back again. Let's take the left route. Oh, that's a guy. Alright. Some junk there. Some dude there. Can I get up? I can. Good. Leave me alone, dude. No. What? I say, what are you shooting me for? I know I just killed one of the guys over here, but come on. I was defending myself. He shot first. Are they coming my way or are they going the other way? They're going the other way. Good. Take it. Has some meds too. <laughs> Those Europas are no joke. Okay. I swear it's just hmm. This doesn't load on anything and anybody. I can I can't remember if I can't recall if they were all Europas that have been killing me or not. They're gonna run out of shotgun ammo at this rate. Also, as long as we don't uh, hit the night version of this map, which is completely different. Okay. Uh, I just want to get my rig at this point, actually. Getting anything extra would be a plus. What's that? More big guys, okay. Big mix. Oh. Okay, some tall people. Mechs coming over? Yeah. Got some open time here. Let's see. Hmm. Also medical. Okay, they're fighting on the inside there. Ah, uh, that's not a good idea. Even though you're have a lot of armor, that's not great. Not something that big.
Yeah, still there. He is. Yeah. Too heavy. Keep low. They agreed. Oh yeah. Especially no. Not with that. Oh, we got the drones up too. Oh, but my junk is that way. That is one huge scar looking style weapon. Have they come up behind? Nope. Okay. So, my drunk is that way. Um, hmm. Middle seems clogged. But. Maybe if I skirt. It's not in direct line. I'm getting stuck on rocks up here. Um. Oh. Okay. Are they gonna ooh, are they gonna rush or are they gonna stay there? I think I can jump up over here. Yeah. Fire on the other side of this. Oh no. Oh dude, go. Oh. I got out of your way, but just move on. I wanna fight you guys for no stinking reason. Alright, yeah, you go meet your buddies over there. They're probably gone already. Froze too. You jump up. Alright. I don't get stuck on anything. Forget it. Oh, Alright, let's torch. Sure. Hi. That's too tall. Alright, so my loot is... In the field up here? Or is it on the wall? I think it's on the wall. It's in the field. That's not good. Not everything down there's gone. Ooh. Um where's the boys headed? My way? Shoot. I don't know if I want to get my rig now. Maybe? I think I can... I think I have an opening right now. Grab it! Run! The left. No go. Left won't work. I have to go past them, so... Because this tube... Running minefield, ah, uh, figures. Yeah, this tube is extraction. Maybe I can pop in and grab something else. Oh, this will work. New scar mag. I think as long as nothing comes out of nowhere and decides to end me, I'll be okay. That's good enough, and that's what? Some P90s on there. Some other loot supplies. The Europa for P90, yeah. Goes without saying, if they're holding that ammo, then yeah, probably. 
That's an AK. Or PK, more like. Alright, yeah, I'm full. Get out of here. Oh, he's dancing. Oh, wow. They destroyed each other over here. Don't mind me. Home free. Okay.